In recent weeks, fans of the heavy metal band As I Lay Dying have been shocked as multiple band members announced they were leaving. With a series of unexpected announcements, three members suddenly quit, each sharing unique reasons that hinted at deeper issues within the band. As fans eagerly speculated what could be going wrong, a fourth member spoke up, revealing even more details that painted a picture of internal challenges and growing tensions within the group. The first departure, Ryan Neff. Steps down, the first sign of trouble in the band emerged when bassist Ryan Neff announced he would be leaving. This decision came just as the band was about to begin a European tour, a big moment for their fans and band alike. On social media, Neff shared, As of today, I've decided to leave as I lay dying. This choice comes after a lot of reflection, and I believe it's the best step for my personal and professional journey. Neff expressed his gratitude for the experiences and support he had received from fans and assured them that he was making the decision thoughtfully. For many, this might seem like a standard lineup change, something that happens often in the music industry. However, for As I Lay Dying, this was not just another routine departure. Just two years earlier, three other members, Nick Heepa, Josh Gilbert, and Jordan Mancino, had left, leaving Neff, drummer Nick Pierce, and guitarist Phil Scrosso as the last of the remaining lineup alongside Tim Lambesis, the band's vocalist and founder. These recent exits added to an already tumultuous few years for the band, leading many to wonder if more was happening beneath the surface. The next departure, Nick Pierce, leaves. A week after Ryan Neff's departure, drummer Nick Pierce announced his own decision to step down. He shared, as of now, I am no longer playing drums for as I lay dying. This isn't the ending I expected, but I feel I need to step back to protect my personal health and integrity. Pierce's words were chosen carefully, suggesting that the reason for his departure wasn't a simple difference of opinion or creative disagreement. He expressed gratitude to everyone who had supported him and proudly spoke about the time he had spent creating music and touring with the band. He concluded his statement by saying he looked forward to continuing his drumming career and was ready for new opportunities, making it clear he was moving forward with no regrets. Pierce's statement seemed to hint at something more serious. By saying he needed to distance himself to protect his health and integrity, he raised eyebrows. Fans started to speculate about what was really happening within the band. This wasn't the language typically used for a simple band split. Guitarist Ken Susie also steps away. Not long after, guitarist Ken Susie announced his departure. Susie, who joined As I Lay Dying, with full awareness of the band's complex history, stated, My time with As I Lay Dying has ended, and I leave with deep gratitude for the support from my fans, both old and new. He acknowledged that he had been aware of the band's challenging past, but still hoped to make music with friends he respected. However, he admitted that his personal morals have been tested to a breaking point and that it was best for him to leave. Fans took notice of Susie's statement, which was filled with emotion and hinted at significant personal struggles. He described his departure as the saddest ending to what could have been a promising second chance for the band. Susie's words were poignant and reflected a strong sense of loss, especially when he mentioned his regret for not making his decision earlier and for not supporting his bandmate Ryan Neff when he first announced his departure. Phil Scrosso speaks out. After weeks of speculation, Phil Scrosso, one of the band's founding members and its guitarist, finally broke his silence. Fans eagerly awaited his response, hoping he might clarify what had led so many members to quit in such a short period. Phil's statement was heartfelt and provided deeper insight into what was happening within the band. In his statement, Phil acknowledged the challenges the band was facing and shared that recent actions had shown as I lay dying no longer provides a healthy or safe environment for anyone involved, creatively, personally, or professionally. He explained that he could no longer support the actions within the band that he felt were harmful, saying, I can't, in good conscience, allow things to continue in this way. Phil's statement filled with both disappointment and hope reflected his struggles. He shared his support for the other members who had recently left and expressed a desire to see the band move forward in a healthier, more positive direction. For Phil, leaving the band after dedicating 21 years to it was not a simple decision. He described his journey with As I Lay Dying as his life's work and expressed sadness over how things had unfolded. 
What's next for As I Lay Dying? While Phil's statement brought some clarity, many questions remain. Fans are left wondering about the band's future, especially since these departures come at a time when As I Lay Dying was preparing to release a new album. The European tour was also canceled, disappointing fans who had been looking forward to seeing the band live. The situation has left the band in a challenging position, with only Tim Lambesis remaining from the original lineup. Tim Lambesis has yet to respond to the recent departures publicly, but some fans recall an interview he did earlier in the year. During that interview, he discussed the challenges he faced within the band and mentioned that there was always a certain level of tension. He suggested that some of the band members who had left in 2018 felt uneasy around him. Fans are now speculating about how much of this tension contributed to the recent departures, with Ken Suzy mentioning his morals being tested and Phil Scrasso expressing concerns about a safe environment. It's clear that these decisions were not made lightly. The language used by each member in their statements suggests that they were facing more than just creative disagreements. A difficult goodbye. For fans, the departures of these talented musicians are hard to accept. As I Lay Dying has been a major part of the metal music scene, and each member brought their unique talents and passion to the band. The fans who have followed them for years are left feeling a mix of sadness and hope. Sadness over the loss of such a powerful lineup and hope that perhaps each member will find peace and success in their new pursuits. For now, fans can follow each musician as they move forward in their careers. Nick Pierce and Ken Susie are both exploring new opportunities, and Phil Scrasso hinted at his desire to pursue fresh and positive ventures.